Welcome back to Summit Sunrise here with Adrian from Arapahoe Basin. And like I was just saying, uh, you know, the beautiful Argentine North Fork Trail, you guys mm -hmm. just got done this summer. And I feel like it's like the perfect kind of conduit for all of your fun little events that you have going on. Yeah, it And is. tell me about what you guys still have coming up this summer for people to get involved in. So we have two food-related events coming up. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, the first is on August 26th, okay. and it's a brunch at Black Mountain Lodge. Okay. So we're doing doing it in seatings. So we're having seatings from 10 a.m. and our last seatings at 1.30 p.m. Okay. And it's a lift service event. So if you don't feel like hiking, Mm -hmm. which I don't know why you wouldn't on right, a beautiful it Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, you can take the lift up or else you can hike up to Mid Mountain and come have brunch with us. So there's several opportunities to actually have some of this delicious food. This is the Black Mountain Lodge that you're looking at right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous views of um, uh, there's the, the mountains, I mean, surrounding it. You feel like you're like in the Alps or something. I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And so with the brunch, um, how do people get tickets for that or do they just show up the day of? How does it work? So uh, we ask that you make reservations. You okay. can uh, do that online at arapahobasin.com forward slash summer or you can call us at 888-ARAPAHO okay. and uh, you can just schedule a seating and we just released the menu so oh, man. hopefully that'll entice more people yeah. um, now that you'll see the great variety of food that we'll be right. serving. And let's just, can we just talk about Chef Ryback for just a <laughs> moment? Um, Adrian knows how much I love the food at Arapahoe Basin. We Really on purpose. Whenever, like during the ski season, if I'm going to Rapo Basin, although the beach is really fun to hang yeah. out on and like grill out and stuff like that, I will purposely forget my lunch because the food <laughs> is so good at a Basin. I mean, Chef Ryback, he is. I feel like he's just like taking that food and just turn it into like you feel like you're at like a like a four star or five star dining. Is that? Is there like ten yeah. star dining? <laughs> there dining should be. There should be. Yeah, Chef Ryback's really elevated um, the on mountain cuisine for us, so and he's good. he and his team just put in so much work and they do a really nice job like I'm a vegetarian and mm -hmm. they do a really nice job of making a really broad menu for people so right. there's lots of meal options yeah I mean there's like gluten-free options mm -hmm. there I mean there's just there's so much to choose from and it's amazing so the fact that there's actually you know they're actually doing brunch too like that's that's so great yeah. now if we can't make it to brunch that's coming up on the 26th uh, what else is there available uh, September 8th there's our first annual clam bake and lobster boil oh my so bring a little bit of the uh, you know East Coast New England thing to Colorado. Yeah, give you a chance to wear some nautical stripes over <laughs> at Arapahoe Basin. It's very on trend for this summer. Right. Nautical. Oh, so. oh definitely. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, okay, that's on the 8th. Is that the same thing as far as you need to go online, make reservations? Yeah, okay. that we definitely want people to make reservations for. Um, and you can do that online or by calling us. And that menu is also posted on our website. Oh my gosh, I can only <laughs> imagine what he is up to with that. Because he's, he's uh, you know, brought in a, just a sampling of what their raw food bar is during the winter time to the studio here. And it's just, oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, being a Southern girl, I'm, I'm a little bit picky about my seafood and it is phenomenal. So yeah, Chef Ryback really takes his time in sourcing the right ingredients. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, uh, obviously we, we definitely want to make sure we look forward to those two events and especially for you guys out there that maybe have recently gotten engaged. You're looking for a mountain setting for your wedding. This would be, a, I mean, these would be great events to kind of test out and see what it would be like. Absolutely. Absolutely. We want people to come and sort of get a good impression of what the atmosphere is like, mm -hmm. what you know, food options are available, and yeah. also to see how friendly and accommodating the staff really is. Oh yeah, They definitely. do such a great job during our wedding season. They're already booking for next year, and we just really, really want people to come in and Check it out and see if it might be the right venue for them. Oh, I could see. Uh, how could it not be? Look at those, look at those <laughs> pictures. They're stunning. So, if you're interested in maybe having a, an event or a wedding there, uh, do you guys even have any spots left for the summer, or is it something that we need to kind of be looking forward to yeah, next we're, year? We're looking at 2013. Okay. We're all filled up for this summer. Wow. Um, but for people who are planning, definitely give us a call or sign up online and. Get in touch with us. All right. Well, for all the information, check out rapobasin.com. Adrian, thank you so much for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. And another quick break here on Summit Sunrise. So much more still to come. Don't go away. Mm -hmm.